does this all the time. Anyway, speaking of other people who are working today, we're going to talk about Wake Up on the Radio and some of our favorite DJs as we wrap up our uh, week this morning on The Edge. We don't know if they bike to work, but we know no, Lauren Hall is live with Shred and Reagan at 103.3. What's happening there, Lauren? Good morning to uh, you, Jordan and Teresa. We're standing here in the studio. We're actually live on 103.3 The Edge right now with Tom Reagan and Shred. So I'm going to double microphone it so their listeners can hear us too. We are simulcasting right now. That's right. We're abusing technology. It's the way, <laughs> is the way and, a, and a complete waste, by the way. I don't know why you're, why we're wasting all this technology, but it's a good thing. But it's so great to be able to bring our viewers inside your studio this morning. So why don't you give us a little virtual tour of, of uh, the digs? All right. Well, it's, it's really small. It's very cramped. There's not a lot of... See, I feel like there's tons of room in here. I think we could maybe do a fitness class or something. So wait, other studios are even smaller? We'll be doing that in the 8 o'clock hour, right? The fitness yeah, wait. class? Yeah. yeah. Um, but so this is, this is part of the studio. Guests sit there. So when we talk to you, Lauren, you're going to be sitting there. Right. And then Shred's over there. That's Shred. There he is. Let's talk about our names here, because Tom, you go by your last name, Reagan. Do right. people think that's your first name? Uh, no, but it's uh, but I use uh, my name, and then Shred comes from a long. What what are you? Um, a long line of pizza shredders. Yeah, yeah, where does Shred come from as a name? Uh, well, you know, my family grew up uh, shredding cheese. We uh, had a, a pizza yeah. industry, and yeah, we adopted that name. It's an Italian family. So, so. it's not from your uh, outdoors, your your skiing or anything. It's, it's not a reference to any of that. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so when people come up to you and you know, in the community, do they say, hey, Reagan, what's up? Or Tom, what do people say? They say it's a good thing you're using a real name so we could steal your identity. <laughs> this makes it a lot easier now. So I file my taxes and somebody's always beat me to the punch. Well, there we go. All right, we have, uh, we have to send things back into the studio right now. But coming up on, in the 7 o'clock hour, we're going to be doing some misconnections. You have a lot of different guests that's coming right. in today. You so picked the story on misconnections, that's right? That's right. Yeah, I'll be All reading right. one of their Very Craigslist nice. misconnections. We're having a great time so far here at 103.3 The Edge with Stratton Reagan. Back to you. Wake up on the radio, Mike. It's happening all week long. Yesterday, we were with the Breakfast Club over at WYRK. And today, we're wrapping up the week with some oh, Edge yeah. News for Live at 1033. Good morning, Jordan and Teresa. Again, listening. we're talking kind of quietly. We're actually talking to you. We're plugged in into the Shred and Reagan audio system, so we're live on the radio and live on the CW23 at the moment. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. This is really cool. Lauren, how are you? I'm great. How are you? All right, not too bad. <laughs> By the way, if you're uh, tuning in, uh, Lauren's going to be reading a misconnection for us. Let's We're talk about excited. the misconnection segment. Sorry, Shred and Reagan listeners, but CW23 viewers might not be uh, that comfortable or familiar with it. So let's talk about More the origins of it. More <laughs> <Yeah>. comfortable. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we, we found that on Craigslist, people go there when they run into somebody on the street that they don't know, and the, maybe they, they were attracted to them, and instead of taking the opportunity to try and meet them and, uh, how you doing? You come here off and whatever cheesy line they might use, they just say nothing. They go to Miss Connections and type it out and hope that, that person finds it. And then you read them on the radio, the Buffalo one. We want to bring do. love to Western New York. Does it ever work? Do you ever find these Probably people and not. connect them? No, so I don't No think one so. is ever listening and says, I think I was that person in the Miss Connections well, we get that. you or texts yeah, you. Yeah, no, or... we do get that on occasion. Yeah, and that, say, that guy was a creeper. Yeah. <laughs> in other words, the, the, the love part that you're talking about, the happy so like, oh, walk over the bridge and everybody's, no, that never seems to happen. But you, yeah, you keep doing it. Well, yeah. I know. It's amusing. Yeah. Do you think at this point people go in and plant them knowing that it might get read on 103.3? I, you know, on occasion, but I think for the most part, people just really want to get their misconnection out there. You know they what I they mean? want love. You know how hard it can be to find the yeah. right person. <laughs> and you can, and when you see them serving your lunch, yeah. and you just want to ask them out because they're so good well, looking. Why bother asking? Yeah. You can just go like, right, this right. <laughs> so I do think it's funny, too, in Buffalo because everyone is so connected already. It's such a small town that they have to go on, you know. That's funny that after a while someone would go, oh, that's Joey. He's an idiot. Yeah. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> right. That would make sense, but, you know, the anonymity probably helps. That's right. So we wanted I to. I think I might have just gotten the wrap, Sarah. Did we get. Do we have to wrap up? How much time is left? She's I'm losing her. We know Sarah, and she's cutting no, our okay. time. No, okay, we don't. Are we have 30 seconds left. Uh, okay. What can we do in 30 seconds? We want to play the barbaric You have sound effects, you. right? I, I'm sure you want to just play sound effects for 30 seconds. Play the barbaric if you've got Play your favorites. All right, so this is the barbaric. Barbaric! Whenever you hear that on the radio show, that's what, uh, that's what cues it. It's barbaric. All right. So, um, do you have another one you want to play? Um, I'm, okay. try, I'm trying to find some that are appropriate for the TV this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Can't it's find 745. A one. There's still some kids at home, okay, possibly, right. before they uh, leave for the day so, for some of these, school. Some of these are just classic. You know, we had the tan lady. Look in the mirror and look at yourself. Tan lady. Remember tan lady? tan lady? Yeah. Never forget. World's Never biggest forget. Sabre fan. My daughter's name is Sabre. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's a good one to end on. You want to aim it on him? All right. Saber and Saber's dad, if you're watching CW23 right now, we're going to wrap it up and send it back to Teresa in the studio. I hope next time we check we in, we can it. hear the misconnection. Yeah. The edge. Good morning from the Shot and Reagan studios here at 1033 The Edge. You never know who's going to walk in. We have comedian Bob Marley Good to morning. join us right now. He is helping me track the traffic from here. And there's a trouble spot out there. Can you let everyone know where it is? It's over by the big blue water tower. That's right. Our New England boy helping me with the Buffalo traffic this morning. Get a little bit crowded on the 290 eastbound right by Main Street. Things are also filling in on the 90 eastbound between William Street up towards Walden Avenue. 190 also getting crowded right in between the 290 and Ontario Street. We're live for the next hour over on the CW23 from Stratton and Reagan Studios. Can you say bye? Bye, everybody. I'll see you at Helium this weekend. Bring it. There, and a lot of people on the radio are talking about BB King as well this morning as we continue our Wake Up on the Radio series this morning. It's uh, just about 8 12. Yeah, Lauren Hall has been hanging out with the uh... The Edge crew, Shred and Reagan over at 103.3. We're going to just listen into the show right now because uh, she's been there all morning and they have a comedian in their studio as well. So just here's what's happening right now on The Edge as we everywhere. listen. Is this in. an investigation? Is something going this on? is it. This yeah. is the Tom Brady <laughs> New England tie in. We're going to have to ask about that, obviously, right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good morning uh, to our Channel 4 viewers. We're simulcasting right now on CW23. We're also on the radio with Bob Marley. I'm just interjecting and introducing Good morning. everyone. Good morning. It's great to be here. I'm excited to be back in the buff. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome here. It's a uh, blustery uh, 40 degrees out, and I'm ready to conquer. It it's, must be nice to get away from New England right now. Yes, this is what was a great jump. I mean, you really want to leave uh, New England and when it was 55 and come to the Buffalo when it was 40. This morning. Well, with all the turmoil down there. Yes, with the Tom Brady. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. All I know is that Tom Brady's uh, actual worst day is probably better than the best day I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if. To Tom Brady still, amidst all the deflate gate stuff, he goes home to a giant Tom Brady castle with Giselle, who is a Victoria's Secret model. And, you know, even if I won the lottery, I would go home, my wife would be on the porch in a house coat going, did you take the trash out, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> like, his worst day is still better than my best day. And you would still have to deal with the investigation. Yes. Right. I don't know what he did. I don't, who cares? I don't know. We won the Super Bowl. That's all. That's happy did enough. Did you? Yeah. Our, your fans keep the forgetting. I need to remind everyone else oh, that yeah, they right? won the <laughs> Nice. <laughs> when nice bird. Malcolm Butler intercepts the ball, like, I levitated off of my couch without using muscles. <laughs> in the air like the Matrix, my eight-year-old grabbed me around the neck. He goes, this is the greatest moment of my eight-year-old life. I was like, oh, my God. So that moment will never be ruined by any of this. You I know, by the way, if Tom Brady had to take out his own trash, Jim McNally would be out there asking him to sign it. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I don't know what's going to happen. But it's you gonna... heard the excuses. Yeah, that, that, he, that last one, listen, I'm a New England fan, and I, I got to say, the last one, was that's a little bit shady. It's the one you mean he, he was texting that he was the deflator, and they said what? Uh, he's a, he, it's a term for losing weight. Yeah. He's on a but diet. A New England term, New England term? I've, I've, never, never, uh, I've, never, I've never said that. I've never said, I got to deflate a little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, summer's coming, and I put a few on. I've got to get in shape and deflate. Uh, you know, you've I'm deflated gonna, from the last time you were in. Yeah, I've never, I've never said that. That's, you do look good, and everyone well, can you. go see how good you look. We're just going to say goodbye to our CW23 viewers right now. He's at Helium Comedy Club this weekend. Joy, Teresa, back to you. you can hear Long, we have introduced you to Western New York's morning radio personalities, and we're going to wrap up Wake Up on the Radio Week with some edge. Yeah, Lauren Hall is live with Shred and Reagan at 1033, along with a special guest joining them there. So, Bobby, how's everything? Is a young lady. Guys, we're going to bring in the w, uh, CW23 audience right now. We're here with Shred and Reagan and comedian Bobby Collins, who is in town to do a show, but also for your daughter's college graduation from Damon. Thank God. You Congratulations know the average, thank to you. her. You know the average two-year-old in our country now can unlock an iPhone and go to the apps that they play with. When I was two, I got my tongue caught on an ice tray. I'm like, ma, ma, ma. She goes, are you an idiot? Ma, ma. When I was three, I ate dirt. Look at the difference. <laughs> But speaking of college graduation, maybe everyone should share a little bit of inspiration. What do you mean for college grads? What would college What's grads should know advice? about? I think that's okay. a good thing. I think, I think we all, thing. We all I, three out of four of us probably work in a field that we would suggest you don't go into. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't do it. Because you know all those comedy? loans you picked up, you're not going to be able to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. You better have a dad that's got some cash because oh, he's going to have to yeah. pay for it. Yeah. 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 Is that's your daughter funny? Is she funny? 
She is. She is a funny girl and a good girl. And so everyone's asking, you know, once you graduate, they go, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? People ask me, what are you going to, his daughter's going to do? She's going to smoke her body weight in pot. That's what she's going to do. Don't try that at home, kids. She's a good girl. It's medicinal now. See, that's the good thing. She'll, feel, she'll be healthier for It'll it. It'll be legal in three years everywhere, but now they're fighting everything. Yeah. What's her major? Pot. No. <laughs> they don't no. have that as a major no. entertainment no. They will in three years. They, nursing. <laughs> they have a lot of nursing. <laughs> no, she there. didn't. She graduated liberal arts. You know, right. Let her decide. Follow the dream. I did. I remember saying to her, and I still do, when I finished college, I sat down and I wrote three things that if I could have... And no expectations or nothing. What would they be? An airline pilot? Uh, I wanted to design men's shirts, and I wanted to be a stand-up comic. And I put that third because I thought it would never happen. I'm a stand-up comic for 30 years. That's amazing. And the you, phone keeps ringing. Do you realize, though, with liberal arts as her degree, yeah. she's setting you up for graduate school. I, uh, <laughs> you're uh, going to be graduate school now. You know, these kids nowadays, but you hear about these kids now, it sounds like my father, you know, <laughs> coming from Buffalo. Right. They, the millennials, they call them. I'm one. I, uh, oh, I, I got some cash. <laughs> no, but all they do is they want to hang home. They want to live. They want, hey, yeah. we call that when sponging. we went out, get out. Yeah. Get out. We were, I remember my father after two weeks home, he goes, what are you going to do? I said, I don't know. I'm going to go out tonight with some friends again. Yeah. He goes like this, well, you got to start paying some rent soon. I go, I don't have a job. And if I paid the rent, I wouldn't stay here. He goes, there you go. <laughs> get out. That's what it was like. Yeah, and we got fun. out. Yeah. Well, nowadays, if you told the kid, get out of my my house they take the kid away from you i know well, actually that might be a good thing remember that guy the girl the, that lady in uh, the baltimore thing she was beating her kid oh, yeah, 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 yeah. i used to have other parents beat us and pl- pl- plead with them <laughs> don't tell my parents because they'll beat me again yeah <laughs> on that note we're gonna wrap things up here for our cw23 audience we have good, good morning in here well there we're here with them right. and comedian bobby collins he's at rob's comedy playhouse this weekend <laughs> goodbye you can catch everything from what happened on Wake up on the radio week on WIVB.com.